So this is an installation of uh, VMware Horizon clients. Um, so the first thing you want to check, these are the prerequisites, is that your windowing system is x11. Um, so to do that, you want to echo xdg session type. And if it returns x11, then you can continue to the next steps. So if it's Wayland, you want to go and uh, make sure that um, you set up x11 and x11 windowing system. Um, the reason being is that uh, for VMware Horizon client, it doesn't seem to work that well with Wayland. Um, so once you have that set up and done, um, you can go on to the next steps of actually installing VMware Horizon client for Linux. Uh, most people are going to be using this one specifically, so you can go to downloads and install um, the latest version. Um, once you have that installed, you have it right here and which is in your downloads folder. So if we go to the terminal and go to downloads, once you go to your downloads, you will have to look for the bundle file. So if you ls that bundle, you'll have this specific file. So if we look at the permissions of the file, we can see that it's only a read write read write and read uh, permissions so um, to be able to run this file you want to uh, add the um, ability to execute it so to do that you want to chmod plus x for execute and you give it the file name um, and if we look at it again as you can see there is executable permissions set for it so that we're able to run it uh, and to run it you want to sudo that's forward slash VMware Horizon client dot bundle and it should pull up this installer. If you have a Wayland installed and you don't have uh, X11, these buttons right here may not appear and that is the reason why you want to set up X11 an X11 windowing system. So to install you of course click the button and it will actually do the installation for you. And after that, you want to scan and make sure you have all the dependencies available. As you can see, I have everything is successful, so I can continue and close. And this is where the installation finishes. So once the installation is complete, you want to open up the VMware Horizon client. Um, so I'm going to open that up. And once you have it open, this is a default screen that you will see. And um, if you try to add a new um, server, for example, if I wanted to go to uh, to the Angelo state server, view.angelo.edu, I will run into the issue with an untrusted connection. So to fix this issue, you want to go to files preferences and you wanna not verify the, the identity certificates and you click OK and you do it again of course and as you can see it takes me to the Angela portal and it basically just tells me to log in and at this point you should be able to use the credentials to actually log into your your uh, server and see all the resources that you need to see um, to uninstall this VMware client, for example, if you if you have a different version of it that you need to install, you want to go back to your bundle file, which is in downloads. And if we look at the options that they have available, um, so to do that, you want to do a dash H to look at all the options that you're able to use with this bundle file. So to uninstall, there is a dash U and this allows you to specify a product name so in this case if you don't know what the product name may be you can uh, you can just run it and VMware bundle and then dash u and for example let's put something random 
and as you can see it, it doesn't find this specific one but it does find this one so and this is the one that's actually installed so vmware horizon client um, and so that's the name that we need to put in here so vmware horizon client and from here on out you have this uninstaller pop-up and from here uh, you could either select to uh, keep your uh, configuration files or you, if you want to delete everything you can just click no so that the next time you install it then you would have a clean installation so go to next and installation was successful and that would be all that you would need for this VMware Horizon client to work.